Well, first of all, the uh, the intensity of the offensive is not necessarily something that Marco Haftar planned. Uh, he wanted to approach Tripoli, uh, but since Thursday, there was uh, there has been a certain amount of incidents, and we should not necessarily assume that the very aggressive nature of, of the current offensive uh, was totally in line or has been totally in line with the original plan. Um, Overall, in what, in what way do you think that plan? In, in what way do you think that plan uh, might have changed? Because uh, for a long time, Haftar was was focused on gaining control of the south uh, of the country. Uh, why was that, first of all, and why might his focus have shifted to Tripoli? Well, the reason he went to the southwest was to bolster his position because in, because he wanted to go to Tripoli. He has been trying to get to Tripoli for the last five years. Um, the reason is because you cannot rule Libya without controlling the capital. So this was a hybrid process of the last several years where there was a mixture of use of violence and an and, and ability to convert those military achievements into political legitimacy. And I think uh, Marshal Haftar got, got used to that. Um, and he thought that he was going to work uh, this last mile towards the, the final goal, which is uh, the capital, the, the prize. Uh, but everything has gone awry over the last uh, couple of days. Uh, it, it, the, what usually worked completely failed over the last uh, three, four days. Now, of course, in Libya, there are, there are thousands of, of asylum seekers from various countries. Uh, what does this mean, not only for them, but for the EU? How do you think the EU might respond to this, given uh, that there is the risk of another migrant crisis uh, being set off, being triggered yeah. just on its doorstep? Well, the EU has an attitude that is quite different today compared to uh, two years ago. Two years ago, there was a high level of panic because we had up to 10,000, sometimes more, migrants reaching uh, into Sicily via Libya. So there was an intense migrant crisis that has been resolved. If you look at the statistics, uh, now you basically have a couple hundred migrants reaching into Sicily. Uh, and this means that the EU effectively uh, cares less about the level of violence inside Libya. And that explains a lot of the complacency of the EU, of the UN, and many other actors uh, towards Marshal Haftar. Marshal Haftar represents a military solution to the conflict. And uh, all the resistance that used to be opposed to him uh, two years ago has kind of dwindled. And that explains part of why this is happening now. All right, thank you very much. Great to get your thoughts. Jalal Hashoui there from the Conflict Research Union, uh, Unit rather, at the Clinkendale uh, Institute.